Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Frank is our important person, very important person, especially today. Look at that. Frank is replacing our water. What should everybody do today, Frank? Hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate. Hydrate, guys. We've got excessive heat warnings in effect for everybody. Even along the coast, there's a heat advisory. So please stay heat safe. It is the number one uh, silent killer. It's a silent killer. Weather-related deaths attributed to heat. So take very good care. How long will this heat wave last? I'll tell you coming up in my forecast, foxla.com slash live or channel 11. Let me see what the back of my hair looks like. Oops, I didn't mean to turn the light off. Mm. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, make sure you tune in. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Hi, Samada. Coming in hot. Coming it's hot. hot. It's like literally hot outside. Uh, some real heat. Uh, the heat wave is on, you guys. Temperatures, oh my goodness, even hotter than yesterday. If you are traveling today, we do have some cooler places like New York City, 77 there, 76 in Boston, 79 in Seattle up into the Pacific Northwest, but still really hot. We're the bullseye here in the Southwest and the Desert Southwest with those triple digits. So we do have those heat warnings in place because of this area of high pressure. This big dome of high pressure will continue to be anchored here for the next several days. Eventually, it will shift, it will weaken and move east. This is our future cast. You can see how we're watching an area of low pressure here in the North Pacific. That's going to help to displace that area of high pressure this weekend. We're also going to start to tap into some of that subtropical moisture. So hopefully we'll get those mid-level clouds, high-level clouds, and also a little bit of moisture. So chances for some showers, mountains and deserts will be good for us. Number one, helps to mitigate fire danger, but it will also help to bring those temperatures down just a little bit. I think you'll notice more as we get into next Next week, Monday, Tuesday, as we watch this approaching cold front, that's going to help increase the onshore flow. So it will crank up our natural AC in that marine layer just a little bit. It'll still be pretty warm out there early next week, but it'll at least be not as hot as what we're seeing here and perhaps no more weather alerts. In the meantime, we do have excessive heat warnings in effect for really all of SoCal. We've got a heat advisory for the coastal communities as temperatures there will be in the 80s, but plenty of those triple digits inland. So the farther away you go from the coast, the hotter it will be. The heat risk is extreme. Look at this graphic here as we watch the valleys, the Inland Empire tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. Look how it gets off the chart, beyond extreme even. So the potential for heat-related illness is really high. So you want to drink a lot of water if you have to be out and about, especially. But try to stay indoors in air conditioning and, of course, stay heat safe, especially through the weekend. If you are headed to the beach, we are looking at temperatures there in the 70s and low 80s, still pretty warm. Surf heights 2 to 4 feet, Ventura County, L.A. beaches, a little smaller, Orange County, San Diego, with that 1 to 3 feet. But looking at our extended outlook, watch how we go from 94 today. Day, perhaps we're downtown LA to 99 or even 100 as we get to Friday. We haven't seen these kinds of temperatures uh, in downtown LA f for really the last few years. So uh, please be mindful of that. Triple digits in the valleys in the IE 113 possible for Thursday, Friday. Please find a cooling center if you do not have air conditioning. A lot of people on the coast don't have AC and those daytime highs will get to the 80s uh, this week. 83 up into the mountains to 85 tomorrow. That slight chance for some showers Friday into the weekend. That'll be good news. 104 in Lancaster to 107. 118 possible through the next several days in the low desert. Okay, let's do some TV shout outs. This is fun. Uh, happy ninth birthday to you, Jenna. I love your uh, cheer outfit here. It says Hawaiian. I think it says on there, yay! Your family loves you so, so much. I'm glad you're staying cool in this heat. And a happy birthday to Armando Espinosa. Uh, I see you enjoy fishing, camping, uh, spending time with the family. And it was your lovely wife that sent us this photo. Keep those pictures coming. All you have to do is email them to us. TV shout outs at fox.com. Make sure you attach the photo. And make sure you stay with us. We'll be right back.